Hello friends, today I'm going to solve liquid problem number 74, search a 2D matrix. In this problem, we are given an M by N integer matrix and two properties. Each row is sorted in non-decreasing order and the first integer of each row is greater than the last integer of the previous row. So what does that mean? Let's look at this example and try to figure out. So the first property, each row is sorted in non-decreasing order, which means that here we have three different rows. And each of these three rows are sorted in non-decreasing order. So each of the values keeps on increasing as we move across each of the columns in the row, right? Now the next property, the first integer of each row is greater than the last integer of previous row. So if we take this row, look at this row, the first integer of this row is 10 is greater than last integer of its previous row. So 10 is greater than 7. Similarly, 23 is greater than 20 and so on. So if that is the case and we know that each row is increasing, so that would mean that each column wise also it is increasing, right? starting from this right it is increasing this way as a, a, over a column and it's increasing over a row to right so that is what we are given here now what we need to find is given an integer target return true if target is in matrix or return false otherwise and solve it in logarithmic time complexity so we are given a target and we need to find if target exists in this matrix or not and solve it in logarithmic time complexity. So given these three few things that is this matrix is sorted across both the rows and column and the second thing is that solving it logarithmic time complexity we can know that we need to use binary search to solve this problem so what is binary search basically in binary search we divide our search space into half based on which part which portion our target lies in if our target lies in this portion we just divide it into half and look over this portion and then again divide into half and look over the portion where the target exists and divide into half and look over just that portion and so on until we find our target okay so that's basically binary search in brief now let's see how we can actually solve this problem using binary search so we are given the target of three we need to find first of all which row the target can exist right so we have three different rows so in which row can three exist well obviously three will exist in this row because three is greater than 10 and three is i mean three is greater than one and three is less than 10 right so less than 10 means it cannot exist in this value because all the values in this row are greater than or equals to 10 and so on for the rest of the rows so that would mean that 3 can exist in this row because the starting value is 1 and all the values in a given row is greater than its I mean it is in increasing order right so 3 is obviously greater than 1 so it will exist in this row so that's how basically that's the intuition we are going to use so to actually find the row we are going to use binary search so for that we take the first uh, element of each row and now we check three where does three where can three lie so we take our left pointer our right pointer so this becomes our middle value and middle value is greater than the value which is 3 so we know that 3 cannot lie on row starting at value 10 so what we do is we decrease the row uh, to point 2 our left so row becomes equals to mid minus 1 now here our middle value is also equals to the same which is row right so in that case uh, since both left and right are equal we return this row which is our left value right because this row in this row we know that 3 exists 
now if our target was equals to na um 10 so what would we do in that case if our target was equals to 10 this will be our left right and this would be our middle value right so we know that 10 is equals to 10 but we are just finding the row for now so since we know that 10 will lie in the row starting at this value which is equals to 10 so 10 lies at this row right so that is when we return middle value so that is one thing and what if we are looking for 11 so if you are looking for a target value of 11 so in that case also our middle value is here is equals to 10 so we know that 11 would lie at could lie at this row but it we're, there could be a chance that it could not lie it could lie at this row if this were to start at uh, some other values so if that is the case so what we do is to check if to check that we are going to check two things the middle value that is 11 is greater than equals to the middle value and 11 is less than mid plus 1 okay so what is mid plus 1 here mid plus 1 is 23 so 11 is less than 23 and 11 is greater than equals to 10 right so since this condition is valid we know that 11 lies between these two values so definitely 11 would lie in this row why because 11 is greater than equals to 10 so 11 is greater than equals to 10 and 11 is less than 23 so it cannot lie in this row it cannot lie in this row as well it will only lie in this row right now similarly if we were given a value equals to uh let's say 30 so if we were given a value equals to 30 so in that case our middle value here which is equals to 10 is uh, less than 30 right so of course it won't lie in this row so what we do is we increment our value of left so left is now equals to right in that case we return this row because now we know that 30 would lie in this row right and so on now that once we have found our row okay now that we found okay we found our row which is equals to this row now to find the position i mean to check if the value exists or not we're just going to use binary search the normal binary search and find the value so if we found the value we are going to return true if we are not able to find the value we return false and if in case middle value is less than target then what do we need to do is we shift our um left pointer towards mid plus one and if mid is greater than target we know that uh, we need to go towards the left so our right will be equals to mid minus one okay so in that way we are going to solve this problem so now we understand this problem let's try to solve it so let us first define m which is matrix gth land and let n equals to matrix dot length okay matrix at index zero that length which is the number of columns now let us find row equals to function so create a function and search for the row so let left is equals to zero right is equals to m minus one that is the last index of the row okay and also we need the mid value so mid value let us now create a while loop while left is less than right first we check if target is less than matrix mid and we are checking the first value right so we check if we have our target is 3 then we are checking with the middle value which is equals to 10 and since 3 is less than 10 so what we need is we need our right pointer to uh, decrease right so right equals to mid minus 1 else if target target is greater than equals to matrix mid 
value if it is greater than equal okay now let us if we are looking for target value 11 then in that case our target is greater than this right so will it lie in this it should lie in this if it is less than the next first value right so and target is less than matrix mid plus one and zero so if that is the case then we return our row because we have found it else what we do is left equals to mid plus one okay and we also need to finally return left okay now that we have found our row let us find our target so here we are going to pass the row and let left equals zero right equals to n minus one and we find our mid plus now while left is less than equals to right what we do is if okay we need to find our mid value first here also we need to find our mid value equals to math floor and left plus right divide by two okay i'm just going to copy and paste it over here and now if target is equals to matrix uh mid value at that given row we are going to return true because we found our mid our target else if target is less than matrix row mid so if target is less that would mean that our mid value is greater right so we want our mid value to become less so for that we are going to shift right to mid minus one else left equals to mid plus one okay if we are not able to find our target then we return false and now let us call our functions so first of all we need to find row equals to find row and now once that we have found our row we are going to find target and pass the row and this will return uh, our final result now let's try to run our code okay so we got an error cannot access row before initialization okay return r oh no return mid we are returning the mid value awesome let's submit this great so our submission is also accepted now let's look at the time complexity and the space complexity as we have been asked to solve it in logarithmic time complexity we are able to do that so here we are uh, iterate i mean performing binary search over rows right and there are m number of rows so this is solved in o of m time complexity i mean o of log m time complexity and here we are performing binary search across each of the columns in each row right so that is total of n columns so this can be solved in o of log n time complexity so overall we are able to solve it in o of log m times n time complexity i hope you liked my solution let me know in the comments down below thank you